Good morning, fishing freaks, and welcome to day two of the greatest fishing adventure of my life. We're taking off right now in the Amazon. We had some fellow Texans join us last night via float plane coming onto the river. And we have driven about 20 miles upstream. And now we're going to, to the backs of some lagoons and creeks. And we're already taking off. I got a new guy today, his name's Alberto. And we're gonna go crush some fish, baby. Here we go. Tucker, catch them up. They're gonna stay over here. Look at all this flooded cover. Big lagoon. So we'll be fishing trees, bushes yeah, along the bank. For the trees, it's close to the bush. Okay. So we gotta we gotta make accurate casts up into the trees here, and we're gonna be doing some wood chopping, right? Yeah. Chop chop. Chop chop and fishing. As long as okay. they're They have to hear it. Yeah. That's to be loud. Loud and aggressive for the big ones. You have to get permission to fish in here, right? From huh? we have to have permission to fish here. Yeah. 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 It's a special creek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna be starting off with the old chopper again. Yeah, wood chopper. The wood chopper. Sure, our props and our hooks are good. up a sweat out here fishing freaks no big explosions yet I've got two wood choppers tied on got a jerk bait got a jig we saw fish we saw a bunch of fish back here in this flooded water and it was nice fishing back here the air smells so sweet it's kind of hard to describe it's like a like a sweet spice smell uh, kind of like what you get in the spring except less pollen smell like more just I don't know, like a good, spicy, sweet smell. It smells like you're breathing in some of the freshest air on the planet, which I'm pretty sure you are. <sighs> Gotta breathe that in, but what I really wanna breathe in is a peacock bass, over 10 pounds, right in the nostrils. That's a sweet smell of success. back here now welcome to the jungle right look at all these trees we're going up in the sticks fishing rigs Fish some pretty cool places, fishing in the backs of creeks in early spring, chasing largemouth. But this blows all that out of the water right here. Holy cow. Oh! 
Oh, God. Oh, big one. Very big. Missed it. Okay. Oh, God. Holy cow. Oh, these topwater explosions are unbelievable. How shallow is that? Yeah. Very shallow. There's a giant fish back there in only like eight inches of water. How do you get back there? With a machete? You can't go back there? Too shallow. Fish are smart. Didn't like it, we're gonna head out, check out some more water. Chop chop. Yeah, chop chop, it goes for bigger fish here in the point. Yeah, baby. He got it good. Pretty peacock. All right. Knock the dust off. Oh man, it's good to get a top water strike. Woo. First one of the day, finally. All right. Oh, there we go. He's been beat up. Maybe a porpoise tried to bite him. Yeah. Porpoise. Oh, you smell good, baby. You smell good. Woo. Switched it up. Fish and freaks went in and got me a little different uh, chopper put on, a little different color. And um, man, I don't know if that makes a difference, but that one certainly hung on to it. The other one I had this morning knocked it every which way. No Propeller, no good. Before I got that bite, there was a little bit of activity on this point. I saw a couple of swirls. Oh, another one. Chased it all the way to the boat. He's, sti he's still out here. Oh, little bait fish. Oh, big one. Big peacock right there. Got him side hooked. Yeah, he hit it, he slapped it. I think I got this one. 
Whew. I think that's a spotted peacock? Yeah. Okay. We had it everywhere except his mouth. Cool. Oh, tiny little bugs. They're eating those bugs or no? No. The parasite. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Crazy. See you later. See you later, Mr. Peacock. He had a little parasite action in his face. Try the jig. Okay. Oils all over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little guy. Smoke the dig. First peacock on a spinning rod out here. Little, little peacock. Nice. Cool. A bunch of little peacocks hanging around these trees. Ooh. Crushed it. Oh. Ooh, like bass fishing now. That's a pretty one. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty one. We found the cock nursery. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh, oh. God, as soon as it hits the bottom. Come here, baby. Oh, we came off. Oh, my gosh. I'll get him. Come here, little baby. See ya. So pretty. Oh. Yeah, look at that bunch of them in there. It's a lot of peacocks, Alberto. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Crushing this jig. Not sure what they're eating down there, but it's something that looks like this. We almost got in our CB antenna. Oh my gosh, it's my first time fishing the white bird. Pretty good little spinning combo for this. Oh. Oh, this one's got a little beef, a little fight. Uh, pretty one. Hey, anyway, bass fishing now. Boy, they're tearing this hair jig apart. Just bobbing it off the bottom. There's no one. Just hit it. Oh, it came off. Got it. Oh, I got him. Oh, quick release. Macaw? Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. This GoPro does not do it justice. That is awesome. More. What's more? Yeah. Two more. Two more. Look at them. Macaws. That is majestical. That is awesome. Wow. That's blue yellow. Pretty, very pretty. That's why you come to the Amazon right there. Oh, here we go now. Right at the base of that tree. Just like bass fishing. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty. He, 
hit my jig very good. It's a good hook set right in the top of the nose. Yeah, baby. Good fish. Fishing Freaks back here on the Otter, back at home base. Today was kind of a butt kicking day. My elbow, whew, I already got like tennis elbow from working those wood choppers all day. But I think that is what's going to catch the big fish. I ended up catching a lot of little ones on that jig, throwing that, uh, that white bird on like 40 pound braid with a little jig. Probably gonna get a couple more of those little rigs ready for those little peacocks. They just get up under those trees. I don't know what they're eating. I guess they're eating bugs and stuff. They're falling out of there. But the big ones, you gotta chop, chop, chop all day for it. But even though it was a tough day, it's hard to have a bad day out here. Uh, everything is just amazing. Like every moment there's something new, exciting going on. You know, something's blowing up. There's porpoises, dolphins, there's monkeys in the trees. There's all kinds of birds you've never seen before. So there's never a dull moment. And I shouldn't catch the big fish on the second day anyway. I need to wait until the last day. So I had one big blow up today. It was probably a 10 or 12 pound fish. Just knocked the thing completely out of the water, hit it twice. <sighs> the misses are almost better than the actual catches because it gets your adrenaline going. That's what keeps you casting and keeps you going because you throw that wood chopper all day, you know, hours and hours. It's so tiring. But when you finally get that bite, it keeps you casting. It keeps your momentum going. So speaking of momentum, we're going to get this baby cracking again tomorrow morning and hit it hard for you guys. So make sure to stay tuned. Lock it in right here at the LFG Fishing TV channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you love fishing, I hope you love this and I love every single one of you fishing freaks. Hit the like button, because I'm down here in the Amazon, baby. I'll see you guys on the next video tomorrow morning.